Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Sunday Night Football Browns Ravens recap show and Monday Night Football uh, update show. Uh, well, the it happened again. The Browns lost to the Baltimore Ravens 16 to 10 last night at MNT uh, Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Uh, this was a game the Browns desperately needed to win, and they just were not able to do it. The Browns had so many chances to win at a last-second uh, game-winning drive, and the Browns just couldn't get the job done. And in crunch time, game-winning drives, when, when game-winning drives are needed, they just didn't get it done. Baker Mayfield had another tough night, 18 for 37 in the game, 247 yards, no interceptions, one touchdown and a great catch to David Nujoko, but still a lot of really difficult decisions that turned into bad plays that turned into turning the ball back over to the Ravens. The Ravens took another page, took a page out of the Bill Belichick playbook. Stop the Browns from running the ball. You beat the Browns because their passing game is not is not threatening enough on an aspect uh, of the offense. And that's just what they did. Stop the Browns running ball. And they were shut down all night. And they had they intercepted Lamar Jackson four times in this game. And each time they got the ball back, they had to settle. They, uh, they uh, only drived for three points. They did score one touchdown, which brought them within six, but they could not get a game-winning drive going to win the game. And we had such high hopes this season for this team, and that's basically diminishing very quickly as the Browns are now 6-6, six and six, and they now have the bye week coming up, and they better get some of their guys healed. Baker Mayfield's injuries really need to heal. If not, they should start Keenum for the game against the Ravens here at First Energy Stadium. And if we want to be back in the playoffs, the Browns will have to win these last five games, and they are must-wins. And boys, I'm telling you this right now. You guys should have won that game last night. You desperately needed it, and you couldn't do it. Now, you must win these next five games to make the playoffs, Browns. Stefanski, you better do some serious thinking and come up with some great decisions to get the offense to step it up. And get the passing game up. And Nick Chubb and uh, Kareem Hunt just couldn't get the job done either. They just were not, uh, were not having a good night either. And uh, this was just a game where the Browns needed to desperately win to go to 7-5. and five, And that's what we wanted. But now we're at 6-6. Six and six. We've been win one, lose one each and every week. And now... You guys are really diminishing our season. I don't even know. I don't even know if playing these last five games is going to cut it. But all I'm saying, you must win these last five games. No questions asked. I'm saying that right now. You have no choice but to win these last five games. You better come up with a Stefanski. You better come up with a way for this offense to really improve and get the job done. The defense has been playing great. They've been having a great game. And so, and uh, Jack Conklin uh, tore his uh, uh, tendon, and he is out for the rest of the season with that injury. But we need to really win these last these last five games, and and this just uh, that's what the bottom line is right here, right now. And I got it, and I wanted to give the game balls to the Browns, but I got to give them to the Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Uh, 20 of 32, carries and attempts, 165 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. Uh, that was on the uh, passing side, on the rushing side. Uh, 17 attempts, 68 yards, no touchdowns. And Mark Andrews, uh, four receptions, 65 yards, uh, one touchdown. But uh, in the game, I already mentioned Baker Mayfield, Kareem Hunt, seven attempts, 20 yards, no touchdown. Jarvis Landry, six receptions, 111 yards, and no touchdown. But now we have the bye week. 
This is when we have to get healthy. We got to heal from our injuries. Minusing Jack Conklin. But I said this before and I'm going to say it again. Browns, you are in a must-win situation these last five games. You must win them. Because we don't want our season ending when the regular season ends. We had such high hopes for you guys. This was supposed to be our year. And I don't mean to be yelling the way that I am. But I am just very frustrated as all Browns fans are. And the media is very frustrated. And I don't mean, and I, that's why I am a bit miffed. And I don't mean to be yelling and taking it out on my podcast here, but I feel that's what I need to do. And I do apologize for my yelling and for my frustration. Uh, now I'm going to give you a Monday Night Football update. And it's the Seattle, the Washington uh, football team and the Seattle Seahawks. All right, and I hope you're, I hope you are. I've been ready for some football. And right now, the Washington football team is up 17-9 in the fourth quarter with 10.56 to go. It's first and 10 uh, at the uh, Washington 13. The Washington football team has the ball. And uh, uh, the uh, Seahawks uh, had a, had a, it was a, they scored a touchdown and then had a, a safety and it was nine and then, and then the football, Washington kicked the field goal with 7-3. And they had a safety. Seattle then it was a 9. And then they, um, Washington scored a touchdown. But the field goal was no good. And it was tied at 9. And that's what it was at halftime. And then they scored a touchdown in the third. Went for a two-point two conversion. And, and they got it. And right now in the fourth quarter, that's where we stand. At 17-9. So... Uh, we will see what happens in this game tonight, but I do have Washington for this one, and it looks like I am going to win the pick, so does my brother-in-law, and so uh, right now it's now second and third at the Washington 20, Washington still has the ball, and it's 10.56 to go, so uh, hopefully we will see if Washington can hold on and uh, really come away with the victory, and I know uh, <coughs> I will be back. when I do my Monday Night Football Post game show. I normally do. I did not get a chance to do a pre game show, so I did an update show. But you will get a trivia question on my Monday Night Football post game show. So uh, until then, until after this game concludes between the Washington Football Team and the Seattle Seahawks, always remember be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.